watching Voice Asia News with me, Vinita. Let's have a look at today's report. The world is battling with the coronavirus pandemic. It has taken millions of lives. It has economically affected a substantial portion of people so badly that they have given up and are unable to survive. The number of incidents of suicide is continuously increasing and is a matter of great concern. People are vulnerable to emotional issues and such issues need to be resolved so that such incidents can be avoided. According to Manish Gupta, who is an emotional intelligence workshop consultant and educationist, what one most understand with clarity is that just as one success can't make you similar, you must accept the fact that one failure can't break you. Life is easily the greatest gift from God and we must learn to hang on to it in all situations and circumstances. We must learn to celebrate the fact that we are alive and be grateful to God for this life that He chose to give us. Also, a very important takeaway from his message is that educational institutions must do their bit to inculcate a social and emotional learning amongst children from a young age and also make it part of their their curriculum at the earliest this will help children cope up with the extremely important life skills required to tackle any situation in life hello everyone how many of you know that september 10th is also known as world suicide prevention day i'm not sure many of us know about it you know but uh, whenever we come across a uh, news article or we hear about someone's suicide, we definitely get very, very upset. But the question is, are we as a society trying to do something about it? So I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk to you about, you know, what is suicide or the number of people committing suicide or the statistics and all that. I mean, that's easily available. That's for all of you to understand and lot and all of you, I think, know know these things it's not difficult for you to get into the details of all this let's actually talk about three things one is why actually somebody does commit suicide what are the signs that you can you know look into someone and try to read those signs if if somebody has suicidal tendencies and lastly what what we all as a society together can do to try and prevent people from you know getting these suicidal thoughts and try and help reduce the number of suicides across the globe so first thing suicides happen mainly because when people get deep into depression and what are the reasons for the depression reasons for the depression can be loneliness can be feeling uh, worthless can be feeling unwanted can it can come from deep emotional pain it can come from you know not having uh, a good uh, network of friends or people around you you when you don't have someone to talk and you know when you when you feel that you're absolutely all alone nobody thinks about you nobody talks of, no, nobody talks to you and then uh, finally when you feel that you don't have an identity of yourself so these are several reasons because of which one can get deep into depression now the second thing is what are the signs that we have to look look at you know when such things happen the signs are very strong you can uh, you can listen to people talking about death you can see people writing poems or lines about death about being lonely about going away from family and things like that and then the other signs is that you can see people moving away slowly from friends and from family you can see people going uh, deep uh, you can see people actually cutting away from others getting into a shell and then you can uh, you can find out when when people you know stop playing sports or uh, they're not continuing into their regular activities there are many signs which tells you that somebody is really really disturbed and that is the time when you actually need to talk to these people now how can we help the first thing that you can do is listen to people because whenever people are in trouble and depressed they need to be heard they really need to be heard because one of the biggest issues is that nobody is there for me to to you know to talk to nobody whom can i talk to uh, to about my problems so these people need to be heard that's the first thing so try and listen 
try and get them to talk ask them questions if you feel that somebody is suddenly gone very quiet gone into a shell please try and ask them more questions it's very very important third thing we can do is ensure that you know we stay connected with people especially when we know some people are lonely some people are probably not extroverts they are introverts they are very quiet kind shy kind you never really know what's going on into their mind so try talking to people time and again try finding out if people are okay they they really need that the other thing we can do is that make sure that we always talk nicely to people you know uh, i've sort of cultivated this habit that whether i walk into a bank or i walk into an office or a school and whether it's a peon or a security guard or or whomever i ensure that i have a smile on my face and i ask that person how are you and at times i also ask that person whether i know the person or not i ask that person did you, have you eaten your breakfast or have you eaten your lunch and i hope you're all right i hope you're safe and you know this brings a big smile on the person's face because all these people actually feel they are unwanted there are enough people who are shouting at them but there are not enough people who are talking too nice words to them so your your few good words that you speak to them can actually change things for them so please do this be nice to people apart from this we can set up counseling centers we can let people know that whenever you are mentally disturbed or if you have any wrong thoughts or suicidal tendencies connect with us call us talk to us so we can set up these you know counseling centers and uh, such kind of network where people can come and and uh, talk freely whenever they are disturbed and uh, finally i think what's more important is spreading awareness now uh, when i say spreading awareness let's go back to suicides right now suicides are not happening only with the adults it's also happening with the teenagers not not too long ago have i come across uh, an article in the newspaper where a teen wanted a uh, a motorcycle and his parents refused to buy him a motorcycle and he committed suicide there was another teen who wasn't allowed to go for a party and you know the teen committed suicide i mean and uh, apart from this obviously academic pressure whenever the board exam results are out there are so many children across you know the country especially in india committing suicide so the one thing that we can all do is right from childhood we must keep talking to children schools are a great place you know school schools are an absolutely fantastic place and the right place for us to spread such kind of awareness children should be taught that failures are also a part of life failures will happen and they should be taught how to handle failures and how to handle pressure also the one thing that we as adults many times forget is that telling children that failures can teach you what success cannot teach you failures teach you many things it teaches you to become strong mentally it te- teaches you to take on the world it teaches you how to survive and it also teaches you how to spring back how to spring back and and get back on the track towards success or towards positivity so there are many things that can be done at the school level so it's a, it's a sincere request you know that we start talking to children apart from this one more thing is that bonding with the parents is very very important when children are not able to bond very well with parents that's when you know the connectivity is lost and when the connectivity is lost it's very difficult for parents to find out what exactly is going on in the minds of the children so we can start all this you know we can start this very important education with children about suicide suicidal thoughts prevention how how they can bond effectively how they can think positively always why success why not only success even failures are important what failures can teach you how you can become mentally strong all this can be done at the school level as well so we as a society have a very very important role to play and i request all of us out there to keep our eyes open to keep our ears open whenever we you know we come across people whom we know especially and you know that the person is not you know behaving the same way that he or she normally does you see the person has gone quiet suddenly and you or you feel that person needs to be spoken to please go out and speak please reach out to people let's talk to people let's help them let's give them hope and let's try and bring them back on track let's try and put uh, put them in a positive frame of mind let's do whatever we can do world suicide prevention day september 10th I do a talk show last night 
for a United Nations uh, development uh, center, which was uh, which was hosted from somebody across uh, from Africa and from somebody in India as well. It was a wonderful program. We had participants from all across the world, and all of us discussed the same thing. And one of the key takeaways was yes, let us spread awareness. Let us talk to people. Let us be there for people. Let's spread love. Let's spread cheer. Let's spread positivity, and let's be nice to people. We sure can make a difference in people's lives. So, wishing you all the very best, and requesting all of you to give it a thought, so that we all can work together in helping, in in helping people think positively, and and we can uh, definitely try and ensure that people don't think. you know so deep negatively that they end their that they end their lives we all live once life is the greatest gift that god has given all of us let's live it let's enjoy it let's make a difference in the lives of others let's help others thank you